Whoa, hello YouTubers and welcome to Gear, and this is the tutorial on the Gear channel. I am your host Ben, and now we're going to show you how to make a lovely craft bucket server. I had tried to record it and I screwed up bigly. Yeah, so don't worry. Right, basically you need a craft bucket 1 point whatever version your Minecraft or whatever server you want to create. So, you download that version of craft bucket. Now... I've renamed it, don't worry, I can't remember what it's named, but you would have Craft Bucket 1.7 blah de blah de blah. Basically, when you've downloaded it, I'll put the link in the description to download, don't worry. Uh, when you got it, and you downloaded it, drag it, or put it on your desktop, for example, it will put it into a place where you know exactly where it is. I recommend using your desktop, because you log on to your desktop, except for me, I would log on to the start menu, because it's Windows 8. But anyway. You want to right click and create a new folder, and I've already created it, it's called my server. It's here, as you can tell. And now you want to drag your craft bucket jar into this file, or the file that you wanted to put your server in. Now, here comes the tricky part. Rename your Minecraft, or your craft bucket to sync easy. Just rename it whatever you like, but make sure there's no spaces. If you want to put a space, put a dash, because the code we're going to be using does not like spaces. So, call it whatever you like. I'm going to call it my server, all lowercase, all in one word. Dot jar. So that's, there you go, there's our file there. Make sure you got it pretty much like that. I recommend copy exactly what I'm doing, otherwise you probably land up screwing up because you think you know something different. Now, the next part is you want to create a batch file. If you have not known how to, or if you don't know how to create a batch file, it's actually really bloody simple. I mean, seriously, it's actually really simple. So, basically what you want to do is right click in the file and create a te uh, text file or go into your start menu, type in notepad and do it that way. I recommend just making it a text file and then call it whatever you like. I'm just going to spam the freaking numpad. So, you don't worry about the text file. But, well, you need it, but to make it into a batch file you actually need it, okay? Just ignore that bit. But now, you've got to open up your text file and you want to type in this exact language. If you don't type it in properly or you've made a screw up, I'm going, don't worry, I will put my server files pre made for you because uh, I know it works. Okay, simples. Now, what you want to do now is you want to type in Java, ooh, Java with J A V A, okay, then put a space dash. And a capital X M and then lowercase M X, then one O two four and then an M. That means how much that X M X is your RAM. If you know your RAM uh, like I do, I know my RAM. It's basically you want two gigs of RAM. That will be two thousand two hundred and no two thousand and forty eight. That will be two gigs of RAM, and then you add it. Just keep adding that up. Basically, you want to use your calculator. It's pretty simple to add your RAM up. You want to type in 102, oh crap, 24 times by how much RAM you want. Okay, I've screwed up. One minute. Yeah, so let's say you want 6 gigs of RAM in your server. You just type in 6, and then there's your RAM number. That's how you RAM in megabytes you need. Now, the next part is quite tricky. You type in, da you just press the dash button, and then jar. Now, you put a space between that, and then you type in the name of your server, which we made, I renamed it to myserver.jar. You literally copied that. So, myserver.jar. Okay, there it is. Now, you want to press space again, then tash, press dash, and then the, not the zero, just the letter O, and then you just put a space, then type in true. Now you want to go down a line and then say pause in capitals. If you don't, it won't work. Now, the next part is you want to go into file, save as, and then go to the file where your server is, well, where your server jar file is, and you want to rename it start. Like so, because it's like a thing that stands out. Then type in the dot, I push the dot, Oh, before I question, where underneath file name you should say save as type. Just put it to all files. Otherwise it probably will somehow screw up. It my computer does somehow. I don't know why. But anyway, when you type your name you type in dot bat at the end, like exactly like this. I pause it, is there. Okay? Now you press save. 
now you can close the te te that text file and you can just delete that text file because if you want to edit it your edit edit your uh, startup or your back file you just right click and then edit and there you go now you want to double click it to open it and then it will should run in command prompt okay like so and then it will start creating your server files. Sometimes it may vary. I've only given this computer, uh, this server, one gig of RAM. If I gave it all my RAM, which is eight gigs of RAM, then it would make probably make it quicker. So anyway, it will give you loads and loads of lovely little text and says preparing spawn and all that crap. You don't want to worry about that. That's just because it's creating your world. This is exactly what actually comes up when you load up your Minecraft. Now I'm going to show you how to make it LAN and public, but the public I'm gonna have to struggle with because you need a port forward and I can't show you my port forward because it's all different to everyone else so I'm gonna give you a website okay so your thing is completely done your server is created now you wanna type in stop no need for slashes just smack that stop button and then now we will stop and it will say saving chunks world whatever so that's the thing about bucket and then you press any key to uh, continue now you have a bunch of files don't worry you won't need to worry it's all in JSON files mine's really come up as notepad to open up a JSON file you right click it and then oh, right click it open with not scan with it sorry open with and then voila and open up with notepad go away you stupid antivirus yeah, and now it's, uh, that's how you edit your JSON files, and they, I wouldn't edit the player, well, don't edit the band IP, don't play, don't edit the band players, uh, leave the commands alone, uh, I don't think you could do much with the commands, don't touch the commands, don't touch bu bu um, bucket.yml, because there's just some random crap in it you don't really want to play with you can if you know what you're doing but if you want just a server just for you to muck about with or with your friends or you make it public just research what things can do because if you mess, mess about with it I know exactly what everything thing what does but this is just how to start up a server now there's your help it tells you just you can edit your help because it doesn't do much it probably recreates a new one and ops now don't touch your ops I will tell you how to op people because they've changed it they changed the server things now because previously you used to type in the name and done. Uh, not anymore. You have to do it for all commands now. Um, permissions don't use bucket permissions. They suck so badly. If I you get a plug like permissions exe or ex and perm whatever. Now you want to play with your server dot properties. If it's not a, if it's not a Notepad file, just do what I said like last time with the JSON files. You open it up with Notepad, and now you can play around with everything in here. Not don't just go too far with things. I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way to the top. Now, if you hear barking, this is my dog. Don't worry, he's annoying sometimes. Anyway, you, M O T D equals whatever. That is your message of the day. So when you go into your survey, it'll say "Welcome to Gear" or whatever. You can name it whatever. Poop or Bob Pop. Sorry, Pop. Now, don't play with view distance. Well, you can. It's because you got to think. The more distance you, rendering distance you can have on your server that's allowed, the more RAM it needs because it's loading up chunks. Now, if you're going to make it public, I would actually really strongly recommend keeping it at about 30 to about 40 players. I have an actual server which will actually run at 100 players with ease and won't cause problems. And it actually runs on 4 gigs of RAM. <laughs> You'd be surprised. It works very low lag. It's the only problem goes laggy is if someone's on the internet downloading or uploading or whatever. So anyway, don't play with view distance unless you know exactly how much RAM you're going to be putting in and you know exactly how much you can put in and see how many players you want. Now, generate structures, just leave it to true. You don't need to play with that. Monsters, if you want to get rid of monsters and you want to put it on hardcore or you want to put it on hard but you don't want monsters in the way set from ones that spawn from mob spawner, set that to false. Max players, you can play with, you can set that to a billion just don't. So the more players you need on your well, the more players you want on your server, the more RAM you need, or very high upload speed. Now, or very good processor in your com uh, in your server. I've got a pretty good, uh, decent processor. Now, player idle time. I don't even know if it works. I don't know if, it, if it's in seconds or is it in minutes. So you might want to double check on it. I don't play with it because I run off MC my admin now because it's easier and just click one button and it's done so yeah <laughs> now we'll use game mode zero game mode zero is survival game mode one is uh, 
creative and game mode uh, adventure 2 is adventure. Uh, enable command blocks. I won't. I strongly won't recommend doing this. Okay, maybe uh, you can do it if you're making yourself public. I know servers that do it public. It just I wouldn't do it because for a reason. I have a lot of people, and they have. Ver I have a lot of people working on my server, in my clan, uh, in my mates clan, which I'm in part of, and making a Minecraft server for the public. Um, I disabled it because I got a lot of friends that are very sneaky with command blocks when they want to cheat. Now, just set that to true if you want command blocks. And the command block is 137 if you want to type, if you're op, anyway. Anyway, your difficulty is set to 1, that would be easy. 0 is peaceful. PvP, if you don't want to play as being a dick and killing each other, just set that to false. Uh, resource pack, I don't know if that works. I've tried so much and it doesn't work. So, yeah, I know exactly how to do it. You get the link where you download the zip, but uh, I think Minecraft disabled it. It's not even in the client settings no more. Online mode. This is if you set that to false. Anybody who's got a cracked Minecraft, you can literally just set that to false, and there you go. You got a cracked server. I wouldn't recommend public it yet, because if someone knows your name and you have a premium account and you're op, or you don't even have to have a premium account and you're op, you can literally just cheat. They can literally just put their name in, and then there you go. There's that. Snooping available. Just keep that to true, because I think it sends data to the Mojang. So if anything goes wrong with us, at least they know in there how now they can fix it. But this is bucket, so I don't even know if it goes to Mojang. Hardcore mode. You can set that to true, because it's literally difficult. It's hardcore. Uh, spawn animals. Keep that to true. Otherwise, you can't survive unless you're making the creative world. Whitelist. Now, whitelist. You have to do this through the commands as well. So you can set that to true, and then you type in whitelist add, and then the player's name. Uh, where am I? NPCs keep it to true. We can't trade with expensive traders, man. Uh, maximum build height. It doesn't go any higher. You can set that to two five seven if you wish, and it doesn't go any higher. It doesn't work. It's the way the Minecraft is built. It is very smart, believe it or not. Server IP. I don't actually put server IP in. I think it auto. It does auto detect. It does. But to find out if you want to put your server IP, you want to put your local one. So you want to type in CMD, boom, and then you want to type in. Uh, IP config in your command prompt and voila and it'll give you your computer IP so if you're running on Ethernet it should say Ethernet adapter Ethernet and then it'll say your IPv4 address dot 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 Force game mode, I don't know, even know what it does, I do know what it does, it's just I don't know why they put it in, because if you want to set it to a thingy. But I think every time you serve, if someone's in creative, and the game sets game mode zero, which is survival, and you set it to force game mode true, then it will, no matter after restart or when they log out, it will smash them to the ground, how high they are, because they're in creative. <laughs> Level seed. If you want to put, you can name, you can do whatever you want. You can put a seed if you wished, but to do that, you might want to delete your world files and redo it and put the seed in. Okay, then you just start up and it'll create the world with that seed. Um, enable archon. Don't do it because there's actually no official. There is a. I don't know if there is actually an official archon like admin. So it's like it's a remote admin, but all you can do is commands. There's literally no point. But anyway, that's there. But you can set it true, but I won't risk it for a chocolate biscuit. Level type, keep it as default. You don't want to play with anything else unless you know what things you want. You can type it in flat. It will give you a flat world, but you do need to delete your world. Server port, don't touch it. If you touch it, you die. And that's players' achievements. If you got noobs and, and they come up with getting wood, <laughs> you just literally set it to false if you don't want no one to see it. Let's see. There you go. Allow flight. Keep that to false. If you want to get rid of anti, if you want to get rid of hackers, just keep it to that. <coughs> Enable query. Just leave it to false because it's default. If things are default for a reason, it works. No need to play around with anything else. Name world. Okay, you can name it whatever world you would like. If you can call it that, if you wished. And don't worry, it'll create that world named that, so it won't override the other one. Uh, allow never set it to true because you want people going never, don't you? Uh, all permission level to leave it default and generation set uh, generator settings just leave it. There's nothing else you need to change. Now you can save it. I didn't. You don't need to. I don't need to anyway. Use a catch. Don't play with it because it's to do with people's ID numbers on their account. So yeah, uh, I think it's like a protection between. I think it's the way the uh, system works. Whitelist.json files. Now 
you got to realize it's all different nowadays. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do it. Oh, by the way, there's your log files. You can delete them. But they will make them into GZ. I think they've got dot .js, a uh, GZ. Uh, you can instruct them with WinRAR 7-zip, and it all gives you a text file. It's because it's compressed, because this Minecraft does, if you leave like a 24-hour server, they do create a lot. Now, next part is your world files, you don't want to play with them because there's no point to it. Now you want to start your server. Now I'm going to show you how to op people. It's actually really simple to op. Um, <laughs> depends on the CPU age of your computer, the servers start a lot faster. But anyway, ugh, my server starts up pretty much instantly. See, now it's like, didn't have to go for a load of bunch of text. Now, you're in your server commander. Okay, this is what you call a commander. Well, I call it a commander. Now, you want to name it, you want to type in this command, op. Don't put a slash, because that little dash arrow thing is classed as a dash, actually, believe it or not. And you want to type in that, op, and then the name of your character. For me, it's Dragonlord IX. And then you press enter. And now it will drop down, and it will say, console op to Dragonlord IX. Warning, server keep up that error. Don't worry, because there's not enough RAM in the server. It kind of, like, said it overloaded, and it's running slow. So I would strongly recommend putting more than at least 2 gigs of RAM. At least. Or even 4 to run a good server. Now, your next thing is... I just spammed enter for no reason. You want to add people to whitelist. You type in white list like that, add, and then the player's name. And then it will add it to the whitelist. Now, the reason why I want to tell you, don't you dare press the X, red X straight away, because then it won't save what you've done. So if you want to save it all, just type in slash save all. Like that, and then it will force save it, and then you can type in stop. I recommend doing it like that because sometimes it doesn't actually save it for some reason. Now, the reason why I told you not to look at your um, or fiddle around with it because if you go into your whitelists, that's what it looks like. Yes, and if you go into your ops, that's what your op looks like. See what I mean? You don't really want to fancy typing all that code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the link in the description. You can download this file and voila. Now, oh, we're going to put a link in the description to tell you how to port forward. All you have to do is select what your modem is and it will tell you how to port forward. It's literally that simple. Evil, even if you wish to, you don't want to cross links, just literally just type in Google. How do I port forward for Minecraft? And it will tell you. So, thanks for watching, guys. Please smack that like button if it worked for you. If it, if it didn't work, don't worry. Don't dislike it if it didn't work. You can always ask people in the community because everyone's likely to help. If not, then give up. And just download the one I've just made for you. I will add this. For, I will give you 2 gigs of RAM in this server for you so you don't have to fiddle around with it. All you have to do is press start and it works perfectly. So, thanks for watching, guys. Smack that subscribe button to show your support. And um, that's all we've got time for. And goodbye.